This is Brett with Local Brand Manager. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to verify your listings address with Melissa data. Um, the first thing you want to do is find your listing in Google Maps. So here we've got a restaurant called Vero Cucina. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and copy this address. Next, we want to go to melissa.com and pick the single address lookup. In the free form here, I'm going to go ahead and paste in the address exactly the way I found it in Google Maps. Click on Submit. And as you can see here, the address is verified. That's good. Um, what's not good, though, is you can see that we're missing a suite or apartment number. So the next step here would be to return to Google Maps, zoom in on the listing, and we want to switch to Street View. So here we go, here's our restaurant, and we're gonna zoom in to see if we can find a suite number. I don't see one, although I do see the Google car reflected in that window. Um, I don't see a suite number there either, or here. So the next thing we would check is to see if the shopping center has a sign, and it does. And we see it right here, also with no suite number. So what you would do, if this is your business, you would update the suite number with the post office. If it's your client, you would find out the suite number uh, from your client and then either update the post office yourself or, or have your client do it. Now on Melissa, if any additional information was read, that is also something that you would need to update with the post office. That is because Melissa data is tapped into the same database as the U.S. Postal Service, and it's also what Google uses. So when you verify an address on Melissa data, you want to make sure that nothing's read, and if anything is, that it gets updated with the post office. That's going to do it for this video. If you have additional questions, please reach out to our support. We'll see you in the next one.